<laughs> but the Dollyville team, led by Donnie Zanders, might have a chance at upsetting perennial champ Iron City. And that's all the news there is today in Valleyville, the toilet bowl capital of America, recently cited as the least desirable place to live in the entire United States. And now, some music. Swan Lake. It's 8.15. Hurry up. We were talking about the basketball tournament. All anyone talks about is basketball. Is that all the people in Valleyville ever think about? Once again, Dad. Here we go. Hey, isn't there anybody out there who's doing something interesting? like your father. He never invented anything and neither will you. You're both just dummies. Mom, you don't mean that. Mean what? Dummies. I didn't say that. Yes, you did, Mom. I said you're just, you just said dummies. Well, I didn't mean it. 17. Oh, well, you're going to be late. No. Dr. Theodore says that people who are always late miss the bus. I don't take the bus. Oh, don't go yet. Come. Oh, come. Come. I'm going to be late.
Oh, man, am I glad I found you. The stuff I gave you wasn't tetrabolic acid, it was detrinsionic acid. And if you added trinsionic to the mixture, it would have exploded. exploded. Thanks, Milton. Oh, you should give up, Grover. Milton, we're close, I can feel it. Feel what? You don't even know what your dad was trying to invent. If we keep following his notes, we'll find out. Ah, the missing ingredient could be anything, Grover. Anything. And unless you find your dad's original formula, I'm not gonna steal any more chemicals for you. Smell funny, man. Grow up, Scott. Ooh, angry young man. What's the matter, not getting any? I'm getting plenty. Yeah. <laughs> Bullshit. Who? Miss Cindy Moore. No shit. All the way. He <laughs> <laughs> beat it, done. See, reserved. Geek crossing. Watch for geeks. <laughs> <laughs> Should have known. Follow me. Who brought day glow cockroaches to parents night? Not me. Oh, Milton McLean said it was your idea. Who filled the football with helium on homecoming day? Now that was funny. That should shut up, Carl. Opening kickoff, the ball left the field. Dr. Theodore says I shouldn't ought to have to put up with it. Dr. Theodore? Channel 29, Advice for Life, Day and Night. Excellent program. Oh. Last month, you quit the basketball team? I don't have time for that kind of thing anymore. It wasn't any good anyway. Quitters never win, son. The subject is attempting to assume his father's identity. He's just like his father. Mom, I'm about to complete Dad's work. Have you ever in your life heard yes, anything? Uh, what, what sort of work, huh? I don't know exactly. He doesn't? I can't find his completed formula. All I have are his notes. The last step missing, as you know. He didn't tell me what he'd invented because he wanted it to be a surprise. He said it was revolutionary. Do you know what he was really trying to invent? No. A new toilet bowl cleaner. Leave, leave, leave that alone. Uh, let me give you some advice, son. Believe me, I hate to be the one to burst your bubble. But your father was no great inventor. And I'm, I'm the one who had to go through his papers, trying to find his grade reports. All I found was gibberish, drawer after drawer. Just ask yourself this. If he was such a genius, would he have spent his entire lifetime at Valleyville High teaching chemistry to misguided little snits like you? You take that stuff and you bury it! And, and go clean that room. But you must put poor Mr. Baxter through. Mom, when poor Mr. Baxter fired Dad, that is what causes heart attack, and that is when he started acting this way. Your father stopped teaching his classes. Mom, he was trying to get the invention ready for the science convention. When I started acting, what way? You're just like your father, Grover. Up in the clouds with the angels at the airplane. Look at that junk! I'm probably going to sit there for the rest of my whole entire life. You 
you should call Dr. Theodore. I don't want to call Dr. Theodore. I know. I told that to Dr. Theodore right on TV. And he said you were mixed up. And a million people heard him say it, so don't you try to hide it. Dad, it fried him. Albert, are you in there? A very important discovery. Didn't hurt Albert. Grover Dunn, you never look better, you old scientist, you. Grover? No. Grover, let me in, man. Look, if you're embarrassed about what happened in school today, it's all right. I mean, you can't hide from the world forever. So, stop being a dweeb and let me in. Do you mind? Good to see you, bro. Brother? <laughs> Should we send more live next to me? little dweeb. Oh, please, sir. Don't eat me. I have a wife and three little pickles. <clears throat> yeah, right. Eat me. Sloppy little dweeb. Grover? <laughs> <laughs> Tell me, time. Eight. Yes, it's 30 minutes. It's just like Albert. <laughs> what 30 minutes just like Albert? Milton, we have cracked the missing link. Yeah? This stuff makes you disappear. 
We need bus tickets. We're going to fulfill Dad's dream. We're going to Pittsburgh. National Convention of the Association of Scientists. We're going to present his findings. Dad, a week from now, the whole world's going to know that you were the greatest scientist that ever lived. Can you imagine the possibilities of this stuff? There's thousands. It's like, it's like, well, if somebody got shot, you know, and uh, you can make them invisible. The doctors can see where the bullet is. You think it'll make zits disappear? <laughs> Your whole face can be a zit, and you wouldn't care because you can be so rich. <laughs> There's one thing you gotta remember, though. We have to keep this absolutely secret until after the convention. Somebody could steal it. It's okay by me. I mean, who wants to share anyway? Oh, no, no, no. Oh, no, wait a minute. Give me a wait a minute. minute. I'm the one who thought of the transiotic acid. You've had your fun. Hey, geek! Okay, maybe we should experiment with it a little before we make it public. Look for side effects and stuff. You're damn right, we can't be too cautious with this stuff. Let's get started. It's time for Advice for Life with Dr. Theodore. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. You know, most of our problems in life are not caused by ourselves. They are caused by others. Let's take our first caller. Advice for life. You're on the air. Dr. Theodore, this is Deborah. Oh, Deborah, our favorite caller. Ow, watch it. Well, Deborah. I can't see you. Have we been making you. progress lately? Ow, oh, where are you going? Hello? Hello? Mm -hmm. Advice for life. Mm -hmm. You're still on the air. I just saw my mom. Ha! Huh. Just like you or me. Deborah, I think you need a therapist. How many of you, ladies and gentlemen, here believe that Deborah needs a therapist? And now, the exciting conclusion of I. Of fire. Where the devil will be there. Be a savior. Clear the fire. They vanished. They just disappeared. Damn it, Donnie, it's a good movie. It's cold. Are you sure this stuff's gonna last 30 minutes? did last time. Well, if it doesn't, it's going to be plenty hot on the way home. If I score 20 points, uh, will you, uh, you know? Tony, you always score 20 points. Why don't you just worry about winning? You're on a team, you know? How about if I win the Sharpshooter Award? What are you doing? What? Your head. Come on, this is no time for jokes. <laughs> Who's joking? Next time you want popcorn, make it yourself. Look, only one guy in the state is good enough to win the Sharpshooter Award. Yes, and it will probably be you, Donnie. That's your problem. You're too good. Things come too easily for you. And then when things don't go your way, all you know how to do is clown around. Oh, yeah. Well, since when do you have it so rough? Cheerleader, the banker's daughter? Well, I 
didn't ask to be the person I am. Yeah, sure. You said, please, guy, make me a dorky little nerd with no tits. That's brilliant, Tony. I thought so. You would. We're going to graduate soon, and all you're going to learn is that you can't hide behind your jockstrap forever. Well, who's hiding? Oh, Donnie. Cindy, wait, I didn't put that there. <laughs> Thanks. I can't explain what happened last night. I can. You're a jerk. Beat it, Dunn. Just stay where you are. At the game tonight, you'll see what kind of guy you're calling a jerk. Fine, Donnie. You show me what kind of a guy you are tonight and just leave me alone today, okay? Inbound the ball, Blob. I'm sorry, Blob. Hey, Xander! How are we gonna win tonight if you can't even hold on to the damn ball? All right, hit the showers. Wake up. Done. You improved. We'd use you in the tournament. Sorry, coach. I'm in the middle of something important right now. What's more important than the tournament? Yes. Hey, Blob. You want to play ball with the big boys, huh, Blob? You better watch your step. Up yours, goat breath. What was that? I, I, I didn't... <laughs> well, I guess we showed him. What are you doing? Hey, I'm experimenting, okay? Well, no more experimenting unless we're together. Fine, fine. And do you suggest we experiment on your friend Donnie at tonight's game, perhaps? Yeah. believe that we're going out in front of a thousand people naked? I'd rather have a thousand naked people in front of me. Well, enjoy the opportunity, Moan, because after the science convention, we're not going to be able to get away with this kind of thing anymore. Shh. Ah. I know what you're thinking, Milton. Don't. I wouldn't dream of it. Woo! <laughs> Milton! It's no worse than what we're about to do. Yeah, but Donnie deserves it. Come on. Ah, oh, wait a minute. Baxter, this is God. I'm not very happy with you. Weird looking guys, huh? No. Where are you? <laughs> Leave the cheerleaders alone, Milton. What a hot dog. Die, white boy. Oh, no. What's the tripping, Avery? I wasn't anywhere near you, man. 
Ain't gonna be no sharp shoot award for you, Xanders. That trophy belongs to me. Shots are falling. <laughs> I'm loving life. Duck! <laughs> time! Time! Xanders, get over here. Now, what in the hell do you think he I'll was doing? A straight I'll neck hit out. <laughs> You made the whole team suffer, Milton. I just hope no one puts two and two together after the convention. Convention? Are you sure you want to do that? What do you mean? I've already got bus tickets for Pittsburgh. Oh, my God. It's only been 20 minutes. And the game's over. Mr. Baxter, maybe it's the steroids or something. Get hold of yourself, son. It's okay. Something's wrong, Mr. Baxter. Something's real wrong. Maybe it's what we're doing. Hey, there's nothing wrong with you, kid. You're just a bad actor. Tomorrow night you get to play your best game. You gotta win some to get the bets back up. After the game, tomorrow, there's a dance. You meet me. When the music starts, and I'll tell you what to do. You said I only had to do this once. <sighs> once wasn't enough, what can I say? But if we lose one more game, we're out of the tournament. Look, if I say win it, you win it. If I say lose it, you lose it. Now beat it. and Donnie are rigging the tournament. They're shaving points. <laughs> you! If God admit us to walk that far, he would have given us four legs. Ah! There you are! Mr. Baxter's been here. What are you wearing? It's the latest rage. What about Baxter? Mr. Baxter's been here. And he said that he wanted to come over personally and tell me what you did at school tonight. And, and that... And that... You've been expelled. We won't be able to go to the school dance tomorrow night. Oh, man. Just what I thought. Each time you take the dust, the length of time you're invisible decreases by five minutes. Milton, watch! That's it. It won't work on him anymore. Who cares? He's a rat. If he gets five minutes shorter each time, we only have three times left. I'm going to Pittsburgh now. Oh, wait a minute, Grover. No, no. I'm not taking any more chances. How do we explain us two running down the hallway of the school naked? We can explain later, after we've explored some more possibilities. No, no. Forget it. Better tell my mom I'm going. Let's at least sneak into the girls' locker rooms. It would be a crime not to do that. 
Mom! Ah. Damn it, Grover. I've been whacking off in the shower for so long, I get a hard on when it rains. And now I've got the opportunity of a lifetime, and you're going to waste it? Wrong. I'm going to be sure I don't waste it. What is it? Did you take Dad's notes? Huh? The blue paper. No. Were you in here? I never come in here. Oh, I did come in here to show Mr. Baxter what you put me through. Don't you ever come in here. Ever. The notes are gone. We got the powder. What the hell good is the powder if we can't show him how to make it? There'll be no proof that Dad invented it. I believe I have wasted the powder playing stupid little tricks on Donnie Sanders, and now... Now? Why didn't I tell the world by the chair? Very well, Donnie. You deserve to win. Okay. Leads UFG change? I don't think so. Why not? You lack character. Dad's work. When my dad taught here, Baxter had access to all of his papers, so he knows that Dad was no kook. And last night, he was in my room. Baxter stole the notes. And with my written additions, I'll be able to make this. So we are going to sneak into his office and see if the notes are there. How about we go to the dance first? No. 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 Because the alarms are only off before and after the game when there's a lot of people in the building. Let's go. Come on, stay right beside me. I'm right here, Grover. Hey, look who's here. They must be waiting for Donnie. Why don't you stay with them and find out more about this point shaving scam? Donnie? Damn it. He must have gone ahead to Baxter's office. Let's jam. Look at these creepiness dweebs. One, two, three. Get out of my way, dweeb. Hey! Hey! Up you go. Move it, Buster. I said, out of my way! Yeah, yourself, Tuts. Boy!
wants. What do they want, Jimi Hendrix? Ah, my favorite customer. Hey, where's Cindy? I can't talk right now. I gotta meet someone. Who, Cindy? No. What, did you guys break up or what? Of course not. Well, then where is she? She's with the other cheerleaders. She's changing. In the girl's shower room? Well, what's it to you? I didn't say anything. There you are. Hey, hey. About time. Tonight. Yeah, you get to win the next one, too. Listen, Mr. Baxter, I like winning a lot better than losing. If I win the Sharpshooter Award, I get a good scholarship and you I get... You do it. what I tell you or I'll show the colleges your real grades. You'll spend the next year flipping burgers. You're the one who said I didn't have to study. What is the matter with you? I don't know. Maybe it's a matter of character. <laughs> character? <laughs> character isn't at your concerns, Anders. I am. Now, you meet me after the next game, and I'll give you your final instructions. Now, beat it. Looks like your pigeon's thinking of flying. I don't like that. The hell with your invention. I think we better cool it. This thing's big, Mr. Christo. I've got to have that money. And I've got to act fast. I'm not the only one who knows about this. The son of the guy who invented this thing. Yeah, well, if anything goes wrong, I may teach you how to dress. <laughs> <laughs> He's got jazz notes, all right. Possibly know some what they're for. Good God. He's got Dad's original formula. And he stole my copy, so there wouldn't be any proof that Dad invented it. Oh, no. No, what have you done this time? Ah. 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 I'm loving life. No. 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 Now, Grover. Hey, Cindy. No. We heard you and Donnie been having a lot of fun at your house. I should. No fun at all. Be quiet. Donnie must be too hot. I'm just looking for a different kind of guy, that's all. Mm, sounds like Cindy's chilling out. No. Listen, Debbie, when I find a guy that's right for me, I'll be the one to jump on him. No. So you really have nothing to worry about. <laughs> Ooh. When I find you, yeah. No, you get out of here. Now. Not yet. Now. Ow. Let go of me. Ouch. What's the big idea of pulling me out of there? Damn it, Milton! If you hadn't been so busy, screaming and shouting and running away, well, I could have told you that Baxter does have our notes and my dad's formula. And you were supposed to go in there and look for the notes. Me? <laughs> Why weren't you in there? Because I got stuck with Baxter! I thought you were in there. And now I have to wait until tomorrow night's game before I can go back there again. I don't care. I'd sacrifice 40 formulas for a look at Cindy Moore's Hooters. You're out. No more dust. It's half mine. Half yours! I made the what? dust! That is... What is going on? Grover, you've changed. <sighs> Grover. Yeah. We have changed. Just not in the same way.
Lest you don't succeed, lie, cheat, and steal. Right, my little sex kitten? Here I come. Fasten your seatbelt. That dog could have sabotaged the mission. There could be spies lurking anywhere. I've got to be careful. Let's get naked, baby. Henry, have you lost your mind? Forget it, Donnie. I forget it. Well, I'll help you in any way that I can. Help with him. Except that way. Strictly as a friend. Hurry up. What do you mean your life's a mess? What? Okay, Donnie, look, you can't get character by plugging yourself in like a refrigerator. And I'm sure whatever it is can wait until tomorrow. I'll talk to you later. Bye. Do it tomorrow. I guess you're right. Sergeant Malone of the Valleyville Police Department. I'm Sergeant Terrell, ma'am. What's he done? He may be selling hallucinogenic drugs. Move to the center of the room. Put your hands on the head now. Turn around. Done. What do you do with all this equipment? Hmm? This is done. Have you noticed any changes in your son's behavior? Yes. He's a completely different person. Oh. And now he says, I'm not allowed in his room. It's tough to love the thing that hurts you most. Yes. I'm alone. We've got a job to do here. And who's to say I'm not doing it? I'm a captain, and you're not, because I'm not some teary-ass, jerky sob sister. Dr. Theodore says I should not have to put up with it. Dr. Theodore? <laughs> Channel 29? That's right, officer. Advice for life. Day or night. Call me Chuck. I'm... Deborah. Deborah. You're the Deborah that calls Dr. Theodore, the one with the awful son? I'm Chuck. Chuck? The one who can't get a promotion, whose partner makes life miserable for him. It's you! Would you like a cup of coffee? Let's get a cup of coffee. Mom, please just... Cindy. You want something really weird, are you? No. No. Look, Grover, 
I know that Milton didn't just walk into my room last night. He just... Appeared. Yeah. Like I'm I dream a genie or something. Was I going to tell anybody that? They'd have taken us both away. Grover. I just think I deserve to know what's going on. Grover. Sit down. I'll tell you, please. Let me tell you something, Deborah. But... Just let me tell you something. You're a cream puff. You're a jellyfish. You're a spineless jellyfish. So Baxter's got my dad's formula. Now he's got the notes, too. Top it all off. I've lost the powder. No, you haven't. I saw you throw it out. How long does it last? Uh huh. How long does it last? First time about third. Forget it. Why not? Look what happened to Milton. Look what happened to you. I'll give you some. If you promise to help me with something really important. Sure. Do you promise to keep this a secret? you and Milton were running around the school naked. You know about that? Of course I know about that. It was all over school. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. What did you do your first time? We can't talk all afternoon, Deborah. The facts are simple. You haven't been listening to me, and now your son is in trouble with the law. All of your problems stem from the damn kid of yours. Every one. Every one of your problems. Now, Deborah, I want you to promise me that as soon as we hang up... You better get dressed now. 30 minutes already? Damn it, Mother, knock! Knock, schmock on your mother, your assertive mother. Grover. All right, where is the little slut? You only have 30 seconds. I have all the time in the world. I know. You've got her in here somewhere. Damn. She. Ha. Ha. You pop tart. You. Ha. Grover, what's wrong with you? Is 
said you needed my help? This is a Channel 29 News Update. The Toilet Bowl Data Doctors Association is doing a dollar for this Chuck, you missed half the show. I'm sorry, Deborah. Milton McLean's escaped. When the jailer brought him his food, he was gone. Nothing there but a pile of clothes. It's really odd. Well, come in. I can't. I better stake out McLean's house. I'll never make captain if Terrell finds him first. You'll find him. I want you <gasps> to keep your son under surveillance. McLean may come back here. What do you say? Okay. Watch for changes in your son's behavior, especially euphoria. That's how you'll know your son is high. Euphoria. So if I don't get the formula and the notes back, Baxter's gonna steal the invention. God knows what he'll do with it. It's just so hard to believe, especially Donnie shaving points. I guess that explains why he was acting so weird during that one game. No, that was because... Huh? Is there something else? No, no. <sighs> what? That's what Donnie was talking about over the phone last night. He was trying to tell me. He wanted my help. And I let him down. <sighs> Poor Donnie. Poor Donnie. <laughs> Come on, let's not argue about it. I'm gonna help you. Okay. I'll give you some now. So in case something happens to one of us, the other one can still get into Baxter's office. Okay. And Valley Coast Toilet Bowl Industries is the onslaught of the new Japanese self-cleaning toilets. Can the industry come up with a new toilet bowl? Oh, I forgot something. Hello. Yes, this is uh, Deborah Dunn. Send Sergeant Malone to my house as soon as possible. No, I, I don't want to, Ralph. No. Deborah Dunn. Euphoria, huh? I don't feel any euphoria. I wish I knew what all the fuss was about. any time. I don't last that long anymore. Should we do it? Just wait for the buzzer. We take off your clothes now. Why? I still have 25 minutes. No, it might take 25 minutes. Wonder how long he used to last. Sounds like we won. Okay. Now I'm gonna go to Baxter's office and you follow Baxter. Meet you back here. Right.
see if you're hiding anything. Hey, great game, kid. <laughs> ah, all the uh, smart money in the state's gonna be on us for the championship tomorrow, kid. So, uh, now's the time to lose. That creep! Mr. Baxter, Avery is on that team. If I were to throw the game, he would win the sharpshooter award and all the scouts would see him. I'm not playing along. Hey, I've got everything on that game. You lose it. Or you lose your nuts. Afraid. That's right. Don't be afraid. Just pretend for the moment that you don't even exist. Because in this hour, in this session, we are going to talk about self awareness. Sir, it is of the utmost importance that we begin production of your product before world competitors discover secret. Therefore, financing must be in place by March 10th. It's tomorrow. Warmest personal regards, R. Wang Ferger. Who's R. Wang Ferger? Dad's formula. What's he doing here? Forget it. I'm going. No, no, wait a minute. This was too important. 
Now, we're we just going to stand aside and let Baxter ruin his life? Look, Baxter's moving fast. He's getting ready to start mass production on Dad's invention. Well, I'm not even going to Pittsburgh. Nah, I'm telling everybody in newspapers now. Go over, you can't. Okay, now Baxter still has your notes, right? With the missing ingredients penciled in by you, which makes that just as valuable as the completed formula. Look, I'll tell. If you step forward now, he will too. And who are they going to believe? If you do anything now, you're going to tip him off. You'll tip him off? Oh, yeah, Mr. Righteous. Well, we figured out what you did. Cindy's house, the game. Why don't you just put on some clothes? Look, the best way to beat Baxter for good is to just lay a trap for him. Discredit him. Otherwise, he's free to do whatever he wants with your invention, and he'll string you out for the rest of your life. I hope you're not suggesting a play to win. There's no telling what Baxter would do. Baxter's planning on using the money that he makes off this game to start marketing on my dad's invention. If we lose that game, Baxter gets everything, Dad and I get nothing. If I hold off, then we have to win. I'm not sure if we can win. Avery's on that team, and he's good. We'll win. Cindy, you and I will do what Milton and I did to Donnie, except to Avery. That way, it'll look like we won in spite of Donnie. Baxter is still going to be mad. Besides, he's no match for somebody who's invisible. Because if we win and Baxter's still on the loose, I'm dog food. Grover. Look, just remember, I'm doing this for Dad, not for him. Grover. You better slow down, honey. Talk to me. What is it? Powder's gone. Milton. No. What are we gonna do? Make more. Come on, let's get started. Now? If this stuff were simple to make, it would have been discovered a long time ago. Chapter two, the game's already in the second half. Almost done. Some of the ingredients were a little different. This doesn't work. Well, it's something I figured out. You see those numbers? That's a code. What does it spell? Disappearing powder. Oh, we've got it all right. Watch out, Robert! Um, you better stand back. Ready? Baxter's gonna start mass production on the invisible powder thinking it's a toilet bowl cleanser. Can you imagine what's gonna happen? There'll be people all over the world turning invisible by accident. And then they're gonna be running around gulping every toilet bowl cleanser in sight. There's 
There's gonna be dead toilet clothes and junkies all over the place. We're not gonna have any powder to stop them. <laughs> the great inventor. You didn't even invent the invisible powder. I didn't. I wasted all of you. No one was right. <laughs> wasted. I got nothing. You gotta hide me. What's he doing here? Sent by the angels. I'll help you, Milton. If you tell me where you put the powder you stole. Okay. I'll tell you, Grove. But you gotta promise to give me enough to stay invisible until this thing is over. Okay, look, I promise. You gotta bring me some right now. All oh, right, just tell me where it is. It's in the guitar out back. Grover, Milton wanted the powder so bad, why didn't he just get it himself? I can feel it. Grover, why did he go to your room? Well, he probably would have. But he came inside because he saw some cops! You're under arrest! Oh, you two! Possession of a controlled substance! No, wait! You, you can't arrest us! We have time! Please listen to him! No more, Mr. Nice Guy! Back in the house! I'll get him! I'll get him! Come on! Come on! Come on! Please, I can explain. Please just listen to us. Easing up. He's up. Mm -hmm. That's all I can do to keep up. Just start easing up. I don't want to take any chances. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Cindy. Grover. Are you there? I'm right here. Who's our Wang Ferger? I don't know. Look, the game's almost over. You're not going to be able to stop anybody. Donnie is in danger. The whole world is in danger. I'm confused. Yes. yes. You've got to believe us. I do not believe that powder makes anybody invisible. It makes you run around naked and end up in the puzzle house. Look, if you would just come to the game with us, you could see we were telling the truth. You could arrest Baxter and get promoted to captain. Ha! If I arrested Lester Baxter, I'd be nobody in a big hurry. <laughs> what is it? Good Lord. Please, there's not much time. Hey, that's good enough for me. Right, let's go. Hey, I can't go out like this. Well, take off your clothes and bring them with you. Right. Hurry. the game's about to end. Hush, the darlings. Avery, shoot. Watch out! No bad in there. Terrell. Uh, I gotta talk to you. How am I gonna explain this? Trade places with me. Come on, you onto something? Hold on, did you see that Milton kid? Maybe we should try to explain. Explain? You're not even here to explain. That's true. Trade places. Pull over, Malone. Okay, Cindy. Take some of the dust. What about you? He's gonna see you. No, I gotta save my last dose for the game. Just take some. Pull over, Malone. Now. Watch out! Oh, no! Go around! Go around! Here he comes! Go around! I can't! Hey, who the hell is that? Oh, no! Kid. South past the market. Yeah. 
If Milton used all his six times, why did he want more powder? I don't know. What's that coming? Okay, now, I'm gonna take the powder and go straight to the gym with Cindy. Oh my god. What is it? It's gone. Gone? Gone. Gone. The car wash. Yeah, the car wash. Yeah. Okay. Cindy, you've only got about three minutes left. Now it's up to you. We've got to win. Alone. You and I are going to go to the storage room until you become visible, then you can make the arrest. Right. Ready? Yes. Yes. One minute left and we're behind. I'm here, darling. We're losing. Where have you been? Same place I've been all day. Sucker. One step ahead of you. Oh, no, you don't. I'm running out of time, Donna. You may have to win this yourself. I don't think I can. I'll be visible in less than a minute. If we're going to do anything, it has to be now. Don't worry about him. We've got a cop with us. Donnie, we have to try. Donnie! Out with 35 seconds left, and it's Iron City 98, Valleyville 93. They're staying with them, Irv. They're staying with them. Cindy? Bad news. Malone? Yes? We're gonna need your help. They've got Cindy's on the bench, and they're taking a look at him now. We don't know how it happened, but I doubt we'll be seeing any more of Xander's today. that cop doing here? Cops make me nervous. We gotta get out of here. There's a storage room down the hall from the gym. You wait in there. Let's go, Max. Just climb up the cable at the rear of the backboard. Are you sure I'm going to get back in time for the arrest? Look, I'll stall Baxter until after the game's over. Just make sure your balls don't go into the basket. All right. Here it goes. Good luck. Once in the game. Him? I don't care if you do feel stupid. We'll be safe from that cop. We still keep an eye on Baxter.
Santa's a dead man. Where do you think you're going? We still have to do the victory cheer. Here. A couple of bears. Bears? Yep. Went to the gym. Anybody move? No, you don't understand. We're just trying to get away. And then I I'll said leave. freeze! Now, take off those stupid masks. 
Oh, 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 God. Now, suppose somebody tells me what's going on around here. Point shading, that's what's going on. The Baxter's involved, too. You, shut up. You're in enough trouble already. Kid is innocent, Terrell. You should listen to him. Who said that? I did. Terrell, you old pug knucker. You are about to make the arrest of your life. Where is your uniform? What are you doing? Back. Where are you going? 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 Where uh, I've been thinking. Who gives a damn? At least Baxter was caught. <laughs> he searched everywhere for uh, the dad's notes. Baxter swears he doesn't have them. There's nothing more we can do now. I'm sorry. Come on, I'll drive you home. Grover. Just wanted to say uh, thanks. All of you guys. There is a visible you, what you are perceived to be by others. And then there is the invisible you, what you aspire to be, but can't be because other people are always, forevermore, messing up your life. I mean, you're gonna go blow everything at your dorky convention. And this time, remember to bury it! Oh, I think I need a vacation. I've been thinking. Since I'm not gonna make captain, I'm gonna have a lot more time for our honeymoon. Let's get a cup of coffee. When you got home from school, it had miraculously turned into the invisible powder. There's something you're not telling us, Milton. You used all of your six times. Why did you want more powder? I must have miscounted. Okay. After my sixth time, I tried it and nothing happened. And then I tried it again. And it lasted 30 minutes. The cycle starts over. Yeah, but only if you get the powder. I mean, you don't even know how you did it. But we do have the toilet bowl cleaner. Now, there's an idea you can sell. Shall I get started on this? Glad you agree. <laughs> What ingredient do you add to a toilet bowl cleanser? You change it from a disappearing powder to a powder that makes you disappear. Something organic, I guess. Something that got into the goo after I left for school. We may never find out. It's all for nothing. Rover. It wasn't all for nothing. You're right. It wasn't all for nothing. We're staying in the pigeon's bathroom. It's better go inside. What's with all these pigeons, anyway? I don't know. You know, they've always been... Wow. No 
there aren't any pigeons at my house. And I live right next door. <laughs> I don't know why they're here. I just wish they'd... I'm laughing. <laughs>